Okay, so this sword represents, or this blade of the sword, represents a problem that occurs often when doing UVs. It's called reverse shell. Well, I, I call it reverse shelling. Okay, actually two problems. Uh, one, if I planar map this, some students will keep it like this. Don't. Um, what you want is more something that represents the shape. Therefore, if you texturize it, it'll turn out well. If I kept it this shape, let me show you what the, kind of the texture looks like. See? That's not good. Let's put that back down by scaling it. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting squares, which is good. Once I see a square, I know it's uniformed. Here is problem number two that occurs with something like this. Okay. First off, I'm going to split the shells. So I'm going to double click this edge and control right click. Uh, wait a minute, no. I'm going to double click this edge and then just cut it. And then grab a UV at the top shell. Control right click to shell. That's what I wanted to do. W on the keyboard and move that off. Okay. So now I have two shells. Now, when I took a planar mapping a long time ago, I, I went straight down. Okay. Now that wouldn't make a big difference, but if you use the next command unfold, it will. Let me kind of show and demonstrate this. This is a problem that all, always occurs. Double click this edge, control right click to UV. And what I'm going to do is just zoom in here. And if I unfold, reason states that I should have some faces that represent these stretched faces right here. Notice these aren't, these two faces are hid because they're underneath these two. If I unfold them, this side unfolds correctly, this side does not unfold correctly. Okay, this side unfolded out, this side unfolded in, making overlapped UVs. Well, here's one of the things that you just got to know. If you take this shell and flip it upside down, and then run the same exact thing, so double click edge, control right click to UV, and then hit unfold. Notice it unfolds correctly. It unfolds correctly here and it unfolds correctly here. So in times of need, flip your shells. I don't know if this, it's not a really a bug. It's been around in Maya forever. I'm just so used to it that I wouldn't consider it even a bug because it, it kind of makes sense. If you take a planar map going straight down, technically, that means the inside faces here are upside down. And I don't know how to explain that further without getting into a lot of weird math but you know, that I wouldn't even know. So, <laughs> But uh, it, it, I guess it stands to reason because it flips it upside down, it needs to be flipped upside down. The same thing is going to occur on this ball in the next video. But this ball, I'll tell you what, this ball represents some some huge issues as far as uh, UVing. So let's look at this in the next video.